Hey, Mitch Show, uh, listeners, watchers, we are about to put together a, it is a kiosk for an iPad. Uh, one of the things that we found we need uh, during a lectureship is a place for those who come in the building to be able to uh, fill out their registration, uh, to you know get their badges, and uh, also have an electronic file where you don't have to continually have to write stuff down, have a lady or a man stand there with a, um, a clipboard. So we found out that with a, a very cheap iPad and a kiosk, you can have a very professional looking um, place for people to go and register. And so this is our package that came in with, it was ordered from displays to go. They've got a wide variety of displays that um, from many size and most any price. And so just, if you are in need of it, displays to go is where we got this from. All right, so. Here, this box weighs about weighs about twenty pounds. Yeah, about twenty pounds. Package fairly decent. Got, uh, custom shaped foam uh, this looks like this might be the where you put it it's got two locks uh, well, it looks like the round key uh, that uh, you'll be able to put it in there and, and lock it down so nobody will steal it that's, that's this right here this taped inside here this appears to be your keys uh, several of these rounded screws there's a few of the rounded like acorn nuts that go on the end uh, you've got regular two keys like a lock safe key and four of the round keys and a stylus 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 yeah. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Comes with the install guide, which we won't use. And this is the attachments bag only for iPad Air. Okay, so I guess it makes it smaller. Little guys that make it smaller. All right. We have ah, another place. I, I'm not sure if this is where your literature goes. I can't remember. We'll find out in just a minute. But one of them had a place you could put your booklets and you could take your booklet and then sign in beside it. But uh, it's pretty sturdy. Ooh, that's heavy. Heavy. That is heavy. Some kind of plate. I don't, I'm not sure. Some kind of plate there. I'm not sure. We'll find out. Maybe the instructions will come out. Another piece of custom.
custom foam. Another piece of custom foam. And there's the there's there's the main piece. And there is nothing else in here. This is already pre-popped bubble wrap. It's pre-popped. Well, no, there's one. No, there's two. Okay, most of it's pre-popped. Okay, that's weird. Ah, oh, interesting. All right. So it has a place for your electricity. Get over there, you. There's a an actual grommet right in here, a little soft grommet that I'm sure comes out. And you got this little right here, which looks like the regular key uh, that uh, what you see, what you see right in here. Which they give you two. Look, woo, look at that. Got a little place to plug everything up. Okay. okay very good. Very good. All right. So that's going to go in here. I like that. Okay. So maybe we are going to use the instructions. All right. Okay. And in reality, let's see if this will come around here. And that will show you, scroll you in like that, how it's supposed to be set up. Okay. All right, so ultimately it's supposed to be, you've got a place for your literature and then a place for placing your literature right here. And then at the very top, I see it's gonna go right here, which is gonna hold all of your your booklets and then at the top um, oh and then these these are the base these go on the bottom of it uh, which was, explains why they're very heavy okay so install the front base and the back base on this thing forward let's take a look and sure enough so that obviously is the front Run over the side here and I guess that will go into there that's a threaded groove into that right. while we have these these right here I guess got two different size screws so which one would it be let's see I've got three four two big ones There's my other, my other keys okay the acorn nuts acorn nuts acorn nuts that's a big one that's a big one Big one, big one, big one, and small one, a big one. Okay, two, four, six, eight, two, four, six. All right. All right, so I bet you the big ones are going to go on the bottom. And I would be right. All 
right, so this is going to go on the front. It's actually got different hole patterns, so you know which one is the front and which one is the back. They all have a locking, little locking washers. And knocking it over. Ooh, come on now. To let it go where it wants to go, I guess. Okay. You want to go there? You'll go there. Get one start in there pretty good. Kind of do them diagonal to each other so it doesn't bind up. Make sure everything is, you know, not going to get in a crooked bind somewhere. So I do those opposite of each other. And, and don't tighten them all the way up. I just kind of tighten them snug. So just in case. And I'll go back through the last and, uh, and tighten them up pretty good. Think. Make sure another. Just make sure. I know it's not going anywhere. I got four screws with locking nuts on it. It's not going anywhere. Yeah. That's one good thing. Just strip them out when you get done. All right. Next. So this should be. Should sit up right. Look at there. Install iPad enclosure onto stand. iPad enclosure on stand is going to be this right here. Access hole is on the bottom. That's what it says. All right. So it's going to be this four right here. 
And I take it it's going to be these smaller ones, maybe. All right, so let's see. It's got to be smaller ones. The only one that's left is the four smaller ones. So let's see. No, no, it's actually not that. It's the four acorn nuts. So it's going to go right here. Access locks on the bottom. And put those in there. And. Uh, I'm not sure what size nut this is. I'm not. Okay. All right, and see if I may have the same size. That might be the right same size. Finger tight, maybe. I, I hope finger tight is good enough. Okay. All right, next, check rubber. Rubber should be around, let's see, around. Turn it out and check. Check rubber. All right, what about the rubber? And there is a, a rubber gasket around it. Okay. All right, it holds the iPad, okay. Connect power cable onto the iPad. There's an access hole here. So you gotta have access. So if, like, say you had, uh, I have the iPad with me. I use this cord, it's not an iPad cord, but I'll use this as an example. If you come here, and run this cord down through here. Yeah. Then you'll have it. Just to try to hook your iPad up. You see, you put your cord down in the hole right here. And then the cord on the bottom of the iPad is covered up. So it's, it's ready to go. And then, of course, inside you had the plug that goes out through the grommet. All right. So that's that. All right. I suppose the rubber holds the thing in place. All right, All right. next, uh, connect power cable and then lock it. All right, well, there's not one in here, but I'm gonna lock it anyway. Just, I don't know why. OCD, maybe. All right, so that's locked. All right, connect the adapter. It says the power cable, back door, and then Close the back door and lock it, and that's going to be right here. And that's going to be right here. Now remember the imaginary cord going down the hole right there. If I had the iPad, I'd, I'd show you. But uh, anyway, that comes off here. You're going to plug. You got one, two, three. You got four plugs in here. I don't know why you'd have four, uh, but anyway, then this. Uh, the end of this will come out of the of the hole right here. Let me see here. And it's say, oh, and actually it's having um looks like you would just poke a hole through it. And you'd run that through it. And do that. run that through there Get around the corner. There we go. Mm -hmm. Get around the 
corner. there. Now it cords out. Imaginary outpass plugged in. Right. Right, that's there. Next. Alright, and then install the brochure holder onto the stand by screws. And this is where our six remaining screws, the small ones, are going to go. Alright, it appears you have an access hole here to go in here and uh, yeah, it's going to be hard to hold that in the spot in the right spot oh come on now nope maybe I need to take my clusters off he said it won't let you Try to put it on the bottom there. Right, it should. Yeah, start with the bottom ones. That, that helps. Just get a couple of them started to hold it in, in a spot. And then you get the rest of them going. loosely put them in there so you can wiggle it around so you can get, get all six of them in there. There we go. Hmm, interesting. This is not going to go in. There we go. I'll just start going in. Hmm. Right. Right. I have a bad screw or a bad thread. I'm not sure. All right. All right. Next. Just tighten her down. Again, just kind of do it diagonal so that it don't be in a bind and just kind of snug them up but don't crank them down yet. Break the sweat. Okay, now this has the place to put your brochures and your material. Six screws hold that in. You've got your locking mechanism here that you can put your iPad in with the cord going down the center of this. Also in a locked, uh, a locked cavity here, that door comes out. And then throw a little grommet here for your actual cord that goes to the wall plug. And that's it. That's it. And I'll just kind of spin it around so you can see it. That you uh, 
take a look at it. Set it down on the floor so it happens. Got my book, sign in, ready to go. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. See y'all next time. Northwest Florida School of Biblical Studies, equipping Christians for life.